Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Kubuntu 20.10, based on Ubuntu in the KDE desktop environment. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the video or like what the channel's doing, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. The first thing we're going to do is open up Kubuntu's website. We are at kubuntu.org. I'll be sure to include that in the description below. And it just basically states, Kubuntu is an operating system built by a worldwide community of developers. It's free, complete, open source alternative to Microsoft and Mac OS X. It's based on Ubuntu with KDE, and it comes with a full set of applications. And then they do have a release video for the 1804 LTS. And right now, I believe they're on 20.04 LTS. And this one that we're getting ready to take a look at is not long-term support, but it is going to have the newest features. And then you've got download, news, support, should you have any problems and you need to come over and get questions asked. You can go to the community for help or you can use the Ubuntu forums because it is based on Ubuntu. We're going to go ahead and close out of the website. And if you download Kubuntu, throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine, this is the desktop you're going to be met with. You do not have a welcome screen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and it says configure desktop and wallpaper. Let's see if we can change the wallpaper. And it has opened up. Let's go ahead and move it down here. Let's make it just a hair bigger so we can see things. And we can scroll up and kind of look through the wallpapers. As you can see, they're pretty much KDE based wallpapers. I'm going to go ahead and pick that one right there. That's an older wallpaper, but I've always liked that wallpaper. So I'm going to leave that one up there. So let's close out of that. Being KDE, you can see down here it's got one panel. And as you can see, it has a little bit of blur and transparency in it. Come over to the right. You've got minimize all windows. You've got date, time. You can go ahead and look at your hidden icons. You've got notifications, clipboard, night color control, vaults, lock key status, KDE Connect. If you're an Android user, all you have to do is go to the Play Store, download the KDE Connect application onto your phone. Once you do that, you can connect it with your PC or your laptop. And that way, if you get notifications of any kind, they'll pop up right on your computer so you don't always have to be picking up your phone. And then you have battery and brightness. Internet, USB, you've got your sound, keyboard. Now on the panel, if you want to adjust it, you just right click on the panel, click edit panel. And as you can see, this pops up. If you wanted to make the panel a little bigger, you could just click it and kind of scale it up there. And then to the right, you've got more options. You've got panel alignment. You can align it to the left, the center, to the right. Or visibility. You can always have it visible the way it is now. You can auto hide it. Windows can cover it or windows can go below it. You can just adjust that to what you're most comfortable with. And then you've got add widgets over here to the left. And this will pop up a menu of different widgets that you can add to your system. Now, if there's widgets that you're looking for that you cannot find in here, all you got to do is come up here to get new widgets. Go look around and then you can download it and it'll be populated into this list. But you have several to choose from right out of the box and they're pretty easy to use. Let me pick the weather report. You just click on it, drag, drop, and it'll put it over here. And it says configure, just click on the configure button. And then over here where it says location, just click choose. I'm going to go ahead and select NOAA because I'm in the U.S. And I will put Dallas. And as you can see, it brings up different places. I'm just going to pick Dallas Love Field and select and apply. And as you can see, we now have a weather widget on our desktop and it gives you all the information you need. I should have moved it where I wanted to, but I'm just leaving it there to show you that it can be done. Now, if you end up not wanting the weather widget there anymore or any other widget you may have put on your desktop, all you got to do is hover over it, right click, remove widget, and you can close out of that. Now we go to the left side of the panel. We've got Firefox. We've already looked at that. You got your Dolphin file manager. Let's open that up. It is a very nice looking file manager. Let's make it a little bigger. You got your usual suspects over here. You got your home folders right here. And it's easy to make adjustments on this. If you want these icons here a little bigger, just come down in this open area, right click on it, go to icon size. You can make them small, medium, large, or huge. I'm gonna go ahead and bump those up to large. They're a little easier to see now. And then, of course, if you want to adjust the sizes on these, you just come down here to this slider. You can slide it up, slide it down. You can pretty much customize that to any 
way you seem fit. It's a great little file manager. It's quick, fast, and stays out of your way while you're working. So let's close out of that. Then you come down, you've also got the Discover Software Center. It's opened up and populated. Let's go ahead and slide it over here. And let's make it just a tiny bit bigger so we can see what's going on. And as you can see, it has some featured apps right off the bat. Krita, Digicam, Caden Live, Blender. And it shows that you already have KTorrent installed. If you wanted to remove that, you just come over here, click remove. It would ask you, are you sure? You click yes, and it would remove it from your system. It's also notifying you, you have 10 updates. And there are the updates that are available at present. We're not going to do anything here because we're in virtual machine. And then we can go back up to applications. Now, if you wanted to look for a specific application, you could go down here and pick like multimedia and then video players. Search down through here and find a video player. Or better yet, you could go back and just do a typical search, something like OBS Studio. And it would bring it up right there. You just click on install. It would tell you the dependencies that are required to go along with it. Click install on those as well. And it would download it and install it to your system right in one place. This is one of the things I love about Linux. Pretty much any distribution that you use, the software is in one central location. As opposed to things that you have to find and download on Windows, you got to get online, you got to go search it, you got to download it, then install it. This just makes things so much easier. So we will close out of that. Now we're going to go down here to the Kubuntu app menu. Let's open that up. And you've got favorites, all applications, games. It breaks it down to board games, card games, logic games, tactic strategy, graphics, Gwen View, LibreOffice Draw, Internet, Firefox, KTorrent, Thunderbird, Mail for your email client, multimedia, Alyssa, Pulse Audio Control, Office, LibreOffice Suite, Science and Math. You've got LibreOffice Math, Settings, System, Utilities. You've got Kate as your text editor, KCalc. And speaking of settings, let's pop on down to settings. Your settings menu opens up right here. You can pick light or dark theme. We're presently in a light theme. If you wanted to go dark, just click on dark, go apply, and it changes the theme completely across your operating system. You could also tweak that a little bit more. You can come over here. You've got global themes, breeze, breeze dark, breeze twilight, Kubuntu. Right now we're on breeze dark. Now, if none of these themes are what you want, just go down here and click get new themes. Go up here and click to show highest rated. It'll show you beautiful themes. You can scroll through. When you find one you like, click on install. When it's done installing, just click close. Come up here and choose it and apply. And it'll apply it across your whole operating system. Now, you can make those kind of tweaks with application style, plasma style, colors, window decorations, fonts. If you want to change the fonts on your system, all you have to do is click right here. Adjust all fonts. Click on the font. Go down, pick the font that you want, select it, click OK and apply. And to do that, I'm not going to change anything. But what I am going to do is go ahead and change the size so you can see how it changes everything. Click OK and apply. And as you can see, the fonts change color all across the operating system. Then you got icons, cursors, font management, splash screen. And then there's so many different ways to make changes and adjustments, basically customize your operating system from audio to multimedia, to removable storage. You can set this all up exactly how you want it to run. And then of course we've got system information. We're running KDE Plasma 5.22.5, QT versions 5.15.2, and kernel version is 5.13.0-19 generic kernel. And then of course it's recognizing my 12 processors and the three gigabytes of RAM that I've issued it. Now, one last thing I want to take a look at is I want to open up console and see if they have HTOP installed. They do not. Let's try top. And they have top installed. Let's go ahead and maximize that. I have issued this virtual machine three gigabytes of RAM. At rest, just with the console open, we're running about 720 megabytes of RAM. So that's pretty light for a KDE environment. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize and close that. And that is pretty much the quick look at Kubuntu 20.10. What do y'all think? Is it something you might download, throw on a USB, put in a virtual machine and give a test drive? If you do give it a test drive, come back and let me know in the comments below what you thought. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow the channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. 
If you like this video and like what the channel's doing and want to support us, you can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.